Engaged Lessons for the 21st Century. Grammar. Simple Sentences. This is an engaged video created by Willoughby Eastlake Schools. If you are presently using a smart board, please remember to save the video first on your computer, then open it up with Smart Video Player. If you would please, have a student come up to the smart board for the very first lesson. Thank you. Simple Sentences Challenge 1 A simple sentence tells a telling part and naming part. It tells a complete thought. Circle the naming part in each sentence. If you would please, pick up a pen and solve this challenge. Okay. Here is what you should have circled. Sally. Sally could not get a drink. Teacher. The teacher had a plan. Number three. Girls. The girls went to the mall. If your answer match ours, that is fantastic. If you would please have another student come up to the smart board. And while they're coming up, if you would pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Simple Sentences Challenge 2 Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Circle the sentence in each pair. Then underline the naming part in each sentence. If you would please pick up a pen to solve this problem. Do that now. Okay, here's what you should have done. The naming part is Sam, and this is a sentence. Sam likes to play baseball. Number two, the naming part is Mom. Her mom sings. And the last one is number three B, coach. The coach is proud of the team. If your answers match stars, that is remarkable. Way to go. If you would please have another student come up to the smart board and while they're doing that, if you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Simple Sentences Challenge 3 Please do not pick up a pen until you're asked to do so. Read each sentence. Circle if the underlined part is the telling part or naming part of the sentence. For example, in the first one it says the bird was on top of the tree. Was on top of the tree. Which one of these two? Is, is it the naming part? Or the telling part. A cat saw the mouse. Is a cat the naming part or the telling part? The dog ran away. Ran away. Is it the naming part or the telling part? If you would, please pick up a pen to solve this challenge. Okay, here is what we have. The bird was on top of the tree. On top of the tree is the telling part. A cat, that's the naming part, saw the mouse. Number three, the dog ran away. Ran away is the telling part. If your answer matched ours, that is superior. Way to go. If you would please, have another student come up to the smart board. And while they're doing that, if you would please pick up an eraser and erase your answers. Thank you. Simple Sentences 
Challenge 4. Please do not pick up a pen until you are asked to do so. Read each sentence. Circle the naming or telling part to complete the sentence. You'll notice we have 1, 2, and 3. Please determine the correct answer for each one. If you would, please pick up a pen to solve this problem. Okay, here is what we have as an answer. The squirrel jumped on the branch. That's the telling part. The squirrel is eating acorns. The squirrel is the naming part. Then the squirrel ran down the tree. Ran down the tree is the telling part of the sentence. If your answers matched ours, that is super. Way to go. If you would please, pick up an eraser and erase your answers. And thank you for working with us today.